Once upon a time, there was a farmer in a village. Once, he planted his crops, and soon after this, a sparrow builds her nest in between fields. Just after some time, the sparrow laid eggs in the nest. Soon, little sparrows came out of those eggs and started to live happily with their mother sparrow. The sparrow used to go daily in the forest to feed her little children. One day, when she came back from the forest, she found that her children were very scared. She asked them, what happened, my children? Why are you so scared? They said, mother, farmer came here today and he was talking about harvesting. He was saying, tomorrow he will send his sons to cut the crops. Then they said, mother, where shall we go after crops has been cut? We are not even able to fly right now. After listening to her children, the mother sparrow said, don't worry, my children, nobody will come tomorrow to cut the crops, so please don't be afraid. Next day, it exactly happened as the sparrow said. No one came there to cut the crops. Many days passed like this, but no one came there to cut the crops. Everything was going well. Sparrow's children were very happy. One day, again when Sparrow returned from the forest, she was again shocked to see her children's faces. They were so scared again. Sparrow asked them the reason behind their fear. They said, Oh, mother, farmer came here today and he was talking about crop harvesting again. Today he was saying, Tomorrow he will send the laborers to cut the crops. After listening to them, Sparrow again said, don't worry, my children. No one will come tomorrow to harvest the crops. Next day again, same happened as Sparrow said. No one came there to cut the crops. Many days passed like this. Again one day when Sparrow came back from the forest, her children told her. They said, Mother today farmer again came and he was talking about harvesting crops. But as usual, we know that no one will come here to harvest the crops. The mother Sparrow asked them to explain the whole incident. The children said, Mother, today again farmer came here and he was talking that he has wasted a lot of his time on depending upon others, and he said that tomorrow he will come to cut the crops by himself. After listening this, the mother sparrow got worried. She said, Children, we will have to leave this place immediately and make our nest on some other place, because tomorrow farmer will definitely come for harvesting crops. The children said, But mother, the farmer has been saying this for the last several days, but every time, no one comes for harvesting. Why are you sure that this time farmer will come for harvesting? The mother sparrow said, For the first time, farmer was dependent on his sons to complete the work, and the second time, he was dependent on the labors to get the work done. And when you depend on others to get your work done, your work can never be completed. But this time, he has decided to do it himself. Therefore, tomorrow he will definitely come and harvest his crops. The children were able to fly by now. They all flew away from there and made their nest in another place. The next day, the farmer came to the fields and started harvesting. But by then, the bird and its children had left the field. If we see in our lives, we will find that those who are always dependent on others for their work, their work is never completed. In fact, relying on others for your work is actually laziness. But it also does not mean that you should not take anyone's help. It's not wrong to ask for help, but if one wants to start any work or do it on time, then that work should be done by oneself. Because self-help is always respected, and others also help those who help themselves. But it's not right to be completely dependent on others for your work. Therefore, if you have any dream in your life, then never depend on others to fulfill that dream. Instead, do it yourself, and you will always be successful. Friends, make sure like this video and subscribe our channel for such amazing inspirational and motivational stories. Thanks for watching.